Well, my claim is that I have done to light something that it's needed doing for a long time. Some people say I freed it. And I was designated an artist by a guru, a silent guru, one who has not spoken many, many years. He said, Bill, you're an artist. Well, I said, can I go back to engineering? Can I do something like, you know, profitably? He said, no, you're an artist. I've been doing this 25 solid years. I started when I was 50 with the very first flashing lights. And now I've filled all the walls and ceilings and nooks and crannies with art. Uh, I took off on optical fibers where I've now probably something like 100,000 light emitting diodes firing into, into f the ends of fibers to come out the other end as little dotties of light. A lot of effort's gone in, a lot of people have collaborated, a lot of people have helped in various ways. Uh, the pictures that you see are all painted, they're actually hand painted, although in most cases I set up the image and uh, there is computer assist all, well, until it's handed over to artists who are either Glenn Luckock or Mark Reed or and others and I used to paint my own but I'm so busy punching little holes in these, you know, they're not canvases, they're laminates. So I'm pretty good, I can put in like five, 500 to a thousand fibers. Then comes attaching the LEDs on the whole electronic system. All that little circuit has programs and things and then all the different colors and then all wired together. It originates as hydropower. It's converted into photons. By the time it comes out here, it's supposed to be enriched photons. They'll take from one week to four weeks. This is not a full week. This is not a full week. And uh, fractals, yes, fractals. That's the word. Mandelbrot's fractals. It's a particular type of equation that if you tabulate it minutely, and translate that tabulation into colors, it just produces gorgeous colors that are both disorganized and organized at the same time. See, this is a fractal sky. All my pieces, all my cities, and I've done some 15 cities by now, have fractal skies. So obviously, if God put the rainbow in the sky to assure us that uh, the world wouldn't be devastated by another flood. We need God to put that in the sky now to reassure us that he's still there and on our side. Yeah, God sees everything. He knows everything. He's just got to be brought to account. And who but artists? Preachers have had their day. Now we say, uh, might as well get an artist. Might as well get an artist who uses whatever he can to get the message across that there is another level out there. I'm trying to present a view of heaven, symbolizing heaven. Light and uh, laughter and dance. I want a religion of light, laughter and dance. It's my play with light. The ultimate play is with light.